Hey, what's up you guys? So my name is Kamari and in today's video, I'm coming to you guys with a what's in my bag video. So I did a poll on my YouTube channel, asked y'all what video y'all wanted to see first. So I put on there whether or not you guys wanted to see a Kate Spade video because I just purchased my first Kate Spade bag about a month ago or if you guys wanted to see a what's in my bag featuring the Marc Jacobs tote bag. And the vast majority of you guys voted for the Marc Jacobs bag so here we are. So funny story. So this is my bag. So the funny story about this bag is that um, I found out about this bag like late fall of last year, right? Um, I found out about the tote bag. And when I tell you I've been to watch so many videos on this bag, but the one that I had a preference for was the leather one over the canvas. Even though I really like the canvas ones, at the time I believe the canvas bags only came in like solid colors and um, they were cute, but I really, really liked the leather ones for whatever reason. I gravitated, I gravitated towards the leather one. Okay, so one day in October around Halloween, me and my boyfriend and my daughter, we went to a um, pumpkin patch and everybody there, all of the ladies was, they was given what they bags. They had coach bags, um, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, any brand you can name, they had it and their bags was popping, right? And so this one chick was in front of us and she had like the little furry Marc Jacobs tote bag and I was telling my boyfriend, I'm like, I had saw that bag on YouTube. I had watched a bunch of videos on it. I really like that bag. I want to get that bag, but it's kind of expensive. So fast forward to Christmas. Guess what I got for Christmas? If you said the tote bag, you right. So my boyfriend had got me the tote bag, but actually he didn't get me this one. He got me the small leather tote bag. And I really, really loved the bag when I opened it. Don't get me wrong. But then as I started wearing it around like the house and stuff, I'm like, wait a minute. This bag kind of big. And it was, it was a really, really, really big bag. And I'm like, I don't know if I want to keep this size. I think I want to downsize. And I gave it about two weeks. And then I'm like, you know what? I'm going to talk to my boyfriend about it. I'm, I'm like, this bag is a little bit too big for me. And the thing is, it fit my laptop. Because the funny thing is, I wanted a tote bag um, to fit my laptop. Because I wanted to start going to like coffee shops or something to edit my videos, right? And so, but then I'm like... For the price of this bag, it wouldn't make sense for me to have a bag this big and I'm not going to wear it every single day. And so I asked my boyfriend if I could get the smaller size and he exchanged it for me and that's when he got me this one. Because it's like um, a lot of the people that had the smaller size either worked a job where they would have to carry their laptop all the time or they were a student. And I'm neither of those things and I don't have a job that requires me to carry a laptop um, in between work and stuff. So I'm like, it wouldn't be practical for me to have that bag and it just sitting there collecting dust. So, and that brings me to the mini. And look at this bag, y'all. This bag is so freaking gorgeous. It does not disappoint. And I see why this bag is so hyped up. First of all, not only is it the perfect size, but it holds so much stuff. When I tell you this bag holds so much stuff, baby, when I show y'all what's up inside of this bag, y'all gonna be like... Yo, remember when Barney had that magical bag? He would pull random stuff out of that bag. This is this bag. This is the bag. This is the Barney bag, okay? Because it's little, but it holds a lot, okay? So, let me show you the ex exterior of the bag. So, of course, if you're familiar with the tote bag, you know that it says the tote bag in Marc Jacobs on the front. It has this beautiful stitching on it. And when I tell you this leather is smooth, baby, this is a pebble leather, but the but to the touch is so pleasing to the touch. It's such a soft leather. Like, I do not feel uncomfortable touching this leather. Mind you, not all, but leather don't really feel bad in general. But when you touch this leather, you're going to see what I'm talking about. This leather is super duper soft. And I love the feel of this bag. So now I bring you to the side of the bag where you have this little loop here that has a magnet right here and it's just here to hold the um the end of the zipper pull i thought that was a nifty touch to the bag as well and it does make it kind of easy if you want to um, unzip the bag and stuff like that so yeah and then here's the back of the bag it just has this little patch on the back and it does come with a removable crossbody strap and then i kind of decorated mine with this um scarf back scarf that i got off of amazon and i will link the links to this scarf down below in the description box in case anyone is interested so y'all know how i do i'm gonna show y'all what's in the bag and i'm gonna give y'all my shots like i always do if you are familiar with my channel you already know how i get down so without further ado let's show you what's in the bag so this is how i have her packed up 
So the first thing I'm going to pull out of this bag is my brush. I got this brush off of Amazon. It's just a foldable wet brush. Um, but I don't use it on wet hair. <laughs> but it's, it's foldable and it also comes with a mirror. I thought that was pretty nifty. And of course it's pink because I'm really obsessed with pink as of late. So yes, the first thing I'm going to take out is this cute little brush that I got off of Amazon. So now with that brush removed from off of the top, you can see how I packed it in here. Um, I did get a bag organizer for this bag, but I actually just did not like how it looked. I'll probably insert some footage of how I had it before, but I felt like it took up too much space and I couldn't hold as much as I wanted in it, even though it is a bag organizer. It just was not for me. I still have it and I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but yeah. So the first thing I'm gonna put out is this mask case that contains my mask that I got off of Shein. I just have two masks up in there. And y'all don't sleep on Shein because I've gotten a lot of stuff off of Shein that was not closed. And I might do a video on that because you will be surprised what you get, get off of Shein for the low. And it's actually pretty practical for your everyday life. So comment down below if you want to see that. But I'm probably going to film it anyway. The next thing I have is this pouch that I got off of Shein that's for your sanitary napkins. But I use it for more than just that because I'm not going to keep a whole bunch of sanitary napkins in here. But I do have three sanitary napkins in here. Um, I have some wet ones. I have a bunch of wipes in here, actually. I have some Summer Eve wipes. I have some Poopery. I have some Kleenex. Um, I got some Band-Aids. Um, this is some... I don't know how to pronounce this, but it's basically like uh, some generic brand um, Pepto-Bismol, but in a tablet form. I got some aspirin. Um, I got some Band-Aids and I got a tad to go stick so that's all that I keep up in here and I love this little square pouch because it keeps everything all neat and compact and it's kind of big so it holds a lot which I like so the next thing I have in here is some more wipes because you can never have too many wipes so yeah just just some Lysol disinfectant wipes now next is a game changer for me personally because I do a lot of grocery shopping of course most people do and a lot of the times like I'm not gonna lie to y'all I got a big giant black garbage bag outside in, in my hallway and it contains nothing when I tell you nothing but shopping bags or grocery bags from the store it's and I gotta get rid of those and so I decided to buy these reusable bags because I don't want to keep using those bags because it just it takes up too much space and I honestly don't feel like it's good for the planet anyway and these things have come in handy when I tell you they've come in handy they come in handy um the other last week we had a winter storm and so I went to the grocery store and all of the carts were gone and I couldn't exit out of that same door I would have to go to the cash register to exit out to the the exit door so I'm like you know what I'm not going out to the car I got I'm not going outside to get me no cart when I got my reusable grocery bags and I'm not getting a lot of food anyway and when I went to the cash register the man was like wow that's really smart because I had the bag and I had the few items in there so if you do not have a reusable grocery bag you need to get you some I'm telling you they're gonna change your life baby so that's what I have up in here so I have two of those and they're really big when you open them up too and I got those from off of Amazon. It came in an eight pack. Next, I have my portable charger for my phone. Next, I have my keys. And then um, next, I have my inhaler and we're almost done with this side. Next, I have my Galaxy Buds from Samsung. I really love these because I got sweaty ears and you know when you have sweaty ears those other um, headphones they start to slide out of your ears but I don't have this problem with those because they don't have like the little spongy thing that goes in the ear. I love these and I got the cute case from off of Amazon as well. Next I just have this notepad that I got from Marshalls because I wanted to start writing down my grocery list instead of just keeping it in my phone because I feel like things are more memorable when you write them down than it's supposed to be on your phone and I kind of want to limit how much I'm on my phone anyway so I, I'm pretty old school in that sense because I, I do not like ebooks and I don't like um what is it called I don't like things like ebooks and stuff like that. So I'm trying to go back to some of the traditional ways of doing things because I kind of feel like it's uh, messing with my memory. So yeah, I got that. <laughs> so now on this side, I have my 
coach ornament print mini boxy cosmetic case and inside of there I have some gum I have a Burt's Bees lip balm a little perfume some hand sanitizer this Dior lip balm Another lip gloss, or maybe this is the first lip gloss, sorry, from Revlon, a Dior hand cream, and then some more gum. And this little thing holds quite a bit of stuff, so yeah. Next, I have the matching wallet to that. So I have this um, ornament print zip wallet, zip card case wallet. I really love these wallets. I actually have this in a signature print as well. Um, this is from Coach 2, and it comes with this cute little chain. Next, I have another wallet that's from Victoria's Secret that my boyfriend got me a while ago. But I use this one to hold all of my gift cards and rewards cards and things like that. So that's what's in this wallet. Next, I just have this little um, zipper pouch that I got off of Etsy that holds all of my charging cables as well as this USB drive that's for my phone because I did upgrade my phone and it no longer has like the USB um, port on it. But this thing has it to where you can connect it to your phone and then you can insert a uh, micro USB on the side. And if you wanted to transfer files from your phone to this, it makes it super easy. Or if you want, and then if you want to put it on a computer, it actually makes it easy for that as well. So this is a nifty tool to have too. If you either have Android or iPhone and you want to save some memory on your phone, but you don't want to delete too many pictures, you can just transfer it with that. Next, I have some pepper spray. Next, I have another thing, the lotion. You can never have too many lotions, especially in the wintertime, because my hands be mad ashy. Shit, they probably a little ashy right now. Don't judge me. Then I have this little pouch that I got off of. This little pouch that came from something I bought off of Etsy, but I just keep like hair ties, um, bobby pins, and safety pins in here. So yeah, that's what I keep that for. Next, and, and so in this pocket, I just have my vaccine um, card. I have my pen. I have this phone, I mean, I, phone, I have this po I have this purse holder. I have another wipe that came with some food that I bought from some fast food restaurant. I have my little um, nail clipper, little scissor contraption. And then I have this little tool that you can use for the ATM. And it also has a bottle opener on it as well. And if you want to open doors without having to touch them, it has the hook on it as well. And it's also a stylus, so it's multifunctional. And it's, this bag is now empty. Oh, and then this little pocket, I just, um, it's a, you can keep cards in there. But I keep the Marc Jacobs um, care card in there just in case. But you can keep some cards in there. Now let me show y'all this table real quick. Because I told y'all this bag hold a lot, right? Now look at my table. My table got all of this stuff. This little bag holds so much stuff. But it looks so tiny that you would never assume that it would hold so much stuff. So I'm going to pack this bag back up. And then we're going to get into the um, mod shots and the final thoughts of this bag, okay? Oh, and I forgot to mention, like, I just plop my phone in there, so, when I'm putting my phone in my bag.
And I also forgot to mention that this bag does come with a dust bag, so yeah. So thank you to my boyfriend for giving me this bag because it's my favorite bag. Ever since I got this bag, I've been wearing it every single day. When I tell you every single day, I mean every single day. I be so excited. Like it's literally my favorite bag in my collection. But I gotta start wearing my other bags because they feel in a little neglected. But yeah, so that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoy. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. Thank you.